Hello guys and girls, how are you all doing? I've got to speak a bit quietly today because um, I'm in charge of the uh, cute little son of mine. Um, so we've got rainforest music in the background rather than my usual tunes to the actual movies themselves. So uh, I'm going to have a quick peek, he's sleeping. There he is. Isn't he lovely? Hopefully I don't wake him up with my waffle and crap. Right, okay, still book time. Um, right, this is Blade 2 uh, with Wesley Snipes. Um, there are three movies in the Blade series. Um, personally, this should have just been two, number one and two, because uh, we know how bad number three was. It was just god-awful, Blade Trinity. Um, absolutely could not stand that movie. But the first movie, and uh, the one you're looking at right now, Blade 2, were absolutely fantastic. Very hard between one and two, what one I prefer. I think I just one just about edges it, but this one fantastic as well. Uh, so, this one was directed by Gil Nero de Toro, and um, absolutely excellent film which starts off from sort of the ending of the first movie in a way. Um, and he's in search of Whistler, he believes that Whistler's been turned into a vampire, so he starts off his search. Um, and then enter um, one of the Bross brothers, that's right, playing um, one of the Reapers who are basically like zombie sucking vampires. Uh, the mouths enlarge and they uh, suck the life out of other vampires and other humans and then they turn into Reapers too and they have to consistently feed or they die. A bit like an old uh, movie called Life Force that was made in the 80s. Um, enter Blade as cool as ever. I mean, you can't beat lions like. Uh, What's that line he says? Some motherfuckers are always walking uphill. Was it skating uphill? Something like that. Wicked lines. I mean, that was for the first movie, but um, can you blush? No, it's fantastic. So this is the steel book for um, Blade 2. As you can see, it's from Germany. It's a matte finish. Um, great, great front artwork. It's a shame about the rest of it, but um, I love the front artwork to it. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Now all three Blade movies are now available on Steelbook. One, two and three. Two and three came out at the same time and are very, very similar. But as I said, you won't see me with number three because the film sucked. That's right, it sucked big time. But Blade himself with his absolutely wicked samurai type sword. Absolutely awesome. So there you go. This is the front cover. Not bad. Um, it's an alright back cover, it's nothing special, it's one of the, you know, the fathers of the vampires coming out of the pool of blood where he drinks from. Um, an okay character in it, um, kind of the story sort of evolves between him and his son near the end of the movie, so the story sort of appeared late in the action very early. But Gilmore de Toro, absolutely brilliant, you know, I love the Hellboy films, they're two of my favourite cartoon character movies. Uh, cartoons, sorry, comic book movies, and uh, they're absolutely awesome, as in Gilmer de Toro with Pan's Labyrinth, and um, now he isn't doing um, The Hobbit, thankfully, hopefully Hellboy 3 will get kick-started, so uh, we can't wait. So there's the back, uh, side, nothing special, just Blade 2 on it, New Line and Warner Brothers, and so forth. Inside is your typical German, can't be bothered, you know, Germany don't seem to do inside artwork hardly ever. For the steel books, which is really, really disappointing. Blank, as usual. Uh, tend to be like that. Hopefully, that will start changing soon, because um, we miss it, man. They, they do some of the best steel books out there, but they just don't seem to do inside artwork. Not that often they do back artwork either. So it's, it's all on the front. So um, there you go. That's Blade Two. What do you think? What do you prefer? Blade One, Two? Should I dare say prefer Three? I hope you don't. But uh, Blade 2, absolutely awesome. I love the action in this film. Donnie Yen's got a part as one of the blood pack in it as well. And obviously Ron Perlman himself, who's a big sort of uh, character, who was Hellboy. Uh, another favourite of um, Del Toro, along with Goss. Uh, tend to be in quite a few movies together. Um, he's in it as um, Reinhardt, absolutely fantastic character. And then you've got Chupa, um, who you would have noticed from the original Fast and the Furious movie as well. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, so that's that one. This is the one that just arrived the other day. Uh, just haven't got around doing a video on it. And that's Saving Ryan's Privates. Um, best World War II film out, in my opinion. And the first film that ever came out with the shaky camcorder. And also um, the most realistic. In other words, I've never seen gore like it. So many films have copied it since then. But there's only one that's the master. And that's this one. Well, Germany did do one of these, and it was 
just this, this bit in the middle, uh, but with German writing on it, sadly, so it kind of sport it. Um, so they brought this one out in the UK, and it's got the cartridge border going around it, and um, I'm not as keen as that. I kind of would have preferred it just to be like this, to be honest, but um, beggars can't be choosers. Um, and I did watch uh, a video on a chat called Dino Lars, and he said it would have been nice if this was debossed or embossed, you know, but sadly nothing. It's just a flat surface, it's a, it's a glossy surface with a mat going around the cartridge. Uh, the mat cartridge sort of dominates still but too much because it's, it completely covers the back in the same thing, covers the uh, side in the same, which I haven't really got a problem with on the side. There you go, the battered look and chips. But the back is a bit disappointing. I want to light something on the back rather than it as it is. But um, there you go, never mind. You can't be everything. So obviously, Simon Pro Ryan, a huge cast of uh, movie stars, and at the time, newbie stars like Vin Diesel had a small part, and it's like Vin Diesel, really? Was he in it? Oh, he was that guy who got shot with a sniper. Edward Burns, there's so many characters, even Nathan Fillion has got a tiny part as the, the guy who thought he, his brother got killed and he wasn't. Um, Giamanti, he's also in it, I mean the list goes on and on, it's, it's a massive cast, obviously Matt and Damon we all know about, and Drunky Tom, Tom Sizemore, but what a movie, absolutely brilliant, I'm glad it got a book treatment, it deserves it, it's, it's too good a movie just to have a normal MRI. So opening it up, you've got the disc as per usual, and inside you've got some nice artwork. Uh, you've got one of the, um, sort of, I won't read it out to you, there's a hell of a lot here, um, documents um, from the Air Force, and it's sort of a letter, and on the right hand side you've got like photographs, ranger's badge, a map, picture from um, the battle on the bridge, and uh, so forth. So nice, nice sort of outside artwork there. That um, actually rub your cockles, if anything else. Um, and uh, yeah, what what an amazing movie. I mean, Saving Private Ryan. What is another question for you? What is your favourite World War Two movie? You know, there are other great movies. You know, Bridge and the River Quiet, Dan Buster's Battle of Britain. There's loads of movies. Uh, I won't say Pearl Harbor because that was shit. Um, and no, I would never buy Steelbook even if it did come out because it's more of a love story and unrealistic battle scenes as well. Uh, but this one, absolutely fantastic movie. Um, it was about a year ago I watched it, so I won't be watching it going for a bit yet. I've got too many other movies to watch, but um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. This will look proud in my uh, collection of uh, Steelbooks because it is one of the all time greats. It's definitely my favourite all time war movie. Um, Yohama Beach, when I sat in the cinema watching it for the first time, everyone in the cinema was speechless. Didn't hear a peep out of anyone. It was just our mouths all gawping wide open. Couldn't believe what we were seeing the non stop action, the gore, the realism of it, um, the handheld camera. You could hear the guy breathing as the camera sort of moving and looking around through. Um, uh, Tom Hanks' eyes, absolutely fantastic, and the big tower. Now what, what baffles me is they all get on the beach and they attack the tower directly and get shot down. Why don't they arrive on the beach to the left and the right hand side where the tower can't shoot them down and then attack them from the side and then blow them up? Why do they attack it from dead on? I don't get that. Maybe I'm thick. Please tell me the answer to that question. I'd love to know. Anyway, okay, well, that's enough from um, me, um, and that is enough from these two beautiful steel books we got there. There we go, Blade 2, Saving Private Ryan. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little one. Um, as I said, I can't be my usual loud, funny self because I've got to be a bit quiet. So I'm just going a little bit more factual, just showing them quickly, not putting them on the TV or the menu or any of that stuff. Um, but I'm um, doing it a more silent one, but with a nice peaceful rainforest theme. So I hope that got you nice and jolly and chilled out. <laughs> it helps the baby, you know. You believe it or not, this music chills the baby, and that's why I've got it on. So uh, yeah, it works for me. It works for him. Chills me out too. So there you go. Um, until the next one, which hopefully will probably be the uh, Battleship Steel Book. Um, I say adieu, adieu. And um, I will see you guys all later. Take it easy, have fun, and keep buying those movies. All right, see you later.